Let's get this shit done. Let's get it done. Oh my god. state her name and occupation. Ah. Dee Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I've got my glasses again. I dislike needless banter. Oh, you're a bloody boy. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Okay. Okay. Edwith, Ed, Edwith? Edwith does not approve of this shit. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the call your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. You know she did it based on what exactly, Maya? You just don't like her. That's that's not that's not nice. Uh, right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Okay, Nick. The day of the murder. Just trying to clip my glasses. <clears throat> I entered the trailer oh a little before noon. The meeting began at midday, sh tw uh, at 12 sharp. It ended at 4 p.m. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal, take you. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> Sal and I ate a T-bone steak on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Huh? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. <laughs> Sorry, this all just sound just could have phrased it differently. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Finally. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know, I'll just have to push. Quick press even. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop at the employee area? No. Well, she's been very <laughs> straight and concise with her answers. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Press. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Dot dot dot. That means one did leave? Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your desk, little desk, it hurts my ears. 
Yes, we are house locked with so into studio one. Press. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Really not helpful. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. So there's an hour there. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. As for Tisa, I had Sato in the press. Hold on. You had Sal take you. What does that mean we've been over this? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh. Oh, right. <clears> 2 <throat> 30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate two bone steaks on the table in front of this trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick, find anything? I kinda wish she'd say a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she says. Somewhere. Okay, let's have a look then. Press. Um. The matter was what two two thirty when the break was. When exactly was that? I've forgotten. something uh. so he headed towards studio two at 2 p.m. half an hour before the death block the path between 2.15 and 4 
a con. <laughs> I'm really struggling. Uh, it's quite annoying knowing how it ends and not knowing how to get there. I can't sink. No, it does not. Oh. Um. Wait, she didn't... stopped. Ha! Huh. As I thought. This... This was found in the employee area. What's this got to do with anything? You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. That's found in the employee area. That's not one... The, the one's... It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? <clears throat> exactly my point. I know where this is going, but at the same time, how... I just... You have no way to, to, to see the uh to see studio to that area right now i know what's about to happen what he's about to say but you have to look at this as someone who doesn't and think how the fuck would they have made that connection how the fuck would they have remembered this detail to be able to to say this it is literally just trial and error Jesus Christ. Remember if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manala ate at a table outside the trailer. As we can see here. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. We wouldn't have known this unless we picked this option. Or remembered somehow. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak? And not leave the bone. I think I know how. You ate the bone too. <laughs> you ate a bone of steak. You didn't eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like the incinerator. Oh, I'm right. I... I see. Then what was Miss Ves Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't that obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmon. <laughs> meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trail to eat her steak, 
to run into the Steel Samurai, and no one else who was in the trailer and also taking a break saw this. And then you did it. Even the guy she was apparently eating with. It was confirmed that he did eat a steak. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright? Isn't that a little presumptuous? <clears throat> what kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was the murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Didn't, could you? I think you would have a great difficulty, uh, a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? That was a pretty clean hole in his chest. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. Blood? Was there no blood on it? Oh, yeah, okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh shit, I didn't get a chance to save it. Ah, uh, okay. Let's hope for the best then. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. It's broken. It wouldn't have... It wouldn't have been able to stab someone with it. It would have just broke again. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this? Through the chest? Through the chest. Oh god. Okay, the first one was a question mark, the second one was an exclamation mark. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your silence. I am the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I think I can. But I don't know if that's the correct choice there. Would I make a claim like that if I, I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Look at this photo. Oh, what is it? What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order! Order! If I cannot have the order... Uh, if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? 
See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wh what? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Oh, she shot. Mr. Wright, continue. It was 2.30pm on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio, tra Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the she pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had done himself five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh my battery's are low, joy. Oh, I don't I don't like that look on her face there. It's a very evil look. In other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer. He died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Uh-oh. Ho ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. Did you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? In the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer, all in the space of a 15-minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? Easily. You gave me the evidence. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Whee! Truck you were talking about. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you use the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course he wasn't. Of course that dumbass didn't know what was going on. So, without Mr. Manella noticing anything, she put the body in the van. Then managed to put the body into the costume? Are you seriously suggesting that is possible? Of course I'm not serious. Huh? Huh? I was kidding to uh, lighten up the proceedings. Really? Light... Lighten? You can't lighten up a murder. Mr. Wright. The court requests you refrain from making claims in jest. Yes, Your Honor. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. Really? Okay. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. 
Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. Or at least there wasn't no uh, penalty for getting that wrong, but... Okay. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator, along with the stake. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Uh-oh, the music stopped. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? <laughs> yes, it was D. Vasquez. She was the murderer. Um, so, what happens next? Hmm? Don't... Huh, me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean... De Vasquez, so it was, it was you. You killed Jackhammer. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Why didn't we get to see Maya as well being like... Mm. Who can say? Uh-huh. Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. Uh, what? Oh, it's not over. It was over. Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, of course it's as the witness says. Certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there is no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, well, there's no proof that Powers did it either. I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? Testify again. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. To come so far only to fail. Wait. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Ms. Vasquez. Edgeworth? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honour. <laughs> Why? I didn't. I see. Very well. Objection! Your Honour, I request that the witness testify again. You're the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Um, well, yes, uh... Indeed, verily I say, there go. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. 
the witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Huh. Nick? Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realised she did it too. But... But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth. Okie dokie. I was with Sal and old bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers and saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of, out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my scripts and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. You always do. Even if there's so many contradictions everywhere, you're like, hmm, that's quite concise. And I can, yeah, there's no way there could be an issue with this. And then there's like shit tons of issues. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're, we're close. Real close. Amy already spoiled the ending by telling us that it was actually her that was the murderer because she thought it was the end of the case, but it's not the end of the case. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her neck. Jesus, that sounds graphic. Again, sorry if you can hear me drinking. I'm a loud drinker. I can't help it. Right. Let's just press everything. The only thing I could think of there was um, when she mentioned the script. She said she went back to the trailer to get it, but she was... No, because she was looking for the script. We had to go find it. It was on the chair in Studio One. Uh, I don't see what relevance that contradiction would have to anything, really. But, yeah, she said she went back to look for the script. Did she say she found the script, though? That's the issue. I'll have to check that, but... But that was the only thing that... that, that, that uh, rang a bell or made me think of anything when she was speaking just then. Just that she went to go get this... That she went to find the fucking script and I can never speak. What is wrong with me? I just... Bleh. English is really tough, guys. Really tough. <sighs> I just saw an old bag security lady when we found it. Why was old back there? What time was that? We were to meet at five for rehearsals, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You know, just because you said it doesn't mean that it's fact. You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy? The witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. And Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seem calm enough when I accuse you of murder. Sigh. Okay, so I'm getting the press harder back off. Back off 
to just blow off anything I have to anyway. I'm getting that with everything, so... I'll just press on everything and see which thing seems I should press on. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Silence. Hey. Hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. The old bag was quite agitated. I think I know why I'm supposed to press. When she mentions the script, maybe if I press harder. Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the steel samurai. I have to be left that proceeding. And then because I didn't want to be bothered with all of this, blah blah blah, such a hassle. You asked to asked asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. But, you could have been involved, we've figured that out. Covered for you, or covered it up for you? Must have been a lot riding on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. The scripts in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your scripts and notes? Okay, that's not the angle I was going for, but yeah. Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all, you wouldn't have known that when you left the studio too. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. No? no I think Edgeworth has found it. Your Honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Oopsie. Yeah, order, order. Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> We've just said it's a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honour. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defence. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think he misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know that? How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal, the director? Hmm. Huh. We have to find some of these papers. Can I press harder? Or everything we've done now? 
Just letting your neck go down. Is it not going to let me press harder? No. Why wouldn't it let me press harder on that? I no longer press harder on these. I can't press harder on that last one. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Not necessarily. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps, but no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers didn't really stand out. Doesn't really stand out. Oh, that's a lie. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm, well I suppose that explains that. No, it doesn't. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. I immediately called the police and power showed up. Can I not present his profile? Or is, can I not do that in this one? I was... Uh, I was silent. Press harder. Um, except that her script wasn't, her script was there because that's where we found it, but I can't present that. So it's good to your direction. Oh yes, I'm quite viable I wouldn't have so, No, I guess not. That's harder. Wait a second, I thought you could see it. No, we're not getting anything different. Objection! Even though we know the script was there. harder on this. I don't think I can, can I? I think we've already tried this. She's going on about all he says. No, it was nothing. Okay. So 
anything I can do today. Ah, that's the only question. to present the state. Just a cult. I guess I'll press harder on everything that I can press harder on. Just see what happens. Though I think I have. Pressed everything I can press. Wait. I mean, that in itself is a strange thing to say, but. He does stand out.
I have no damn idea. That's harder. Ooh, wait, I haven't pressed on this, I don't think. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the the, 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 the detective that photograph. <clears throat> of course, I heard all of this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's known for exhibiting the best sense of judgement when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. Uh, yeah, I know. The photo, that photo. Maybe not. Uh, the fact that she said she's the best authority when it comes to him and didn't even notice that that, that was him there. Um, could that be it? Otherwise, I have no goddamn idea. I'm really trying to think. The only thing I can think of is the script. She said cell Torah, but apparently this is right. Do you think that's, oh, <coughs> that's a little funny? I was thinking more along the lines of the old bag thing still. I mean, it was the steel samurai who was injured. Yeah, not the guy in that photo. It was Will Powers. What? What? Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. The oh, did she... <clears throat> did she say that that guy had hurt his leg? God damn it, I'm dumb. 
I hadn't even noticed that she tried to say that it was the other guy that had hurt himself. That's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah. And when was he doing this? Why was he doing this as well? That's not been established and I don't know if it does get established. Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That was why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order, I will have order. Jesus, learn, learn something new, Judgy. Witness? Can you refute this claim? Hmm, hmm. I guess not. Yeah, let's see you sneak your way out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Oh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. We've been over this already. Why would she have killed the victim? We went over this the previous day. There's no one that does have a motive for this. If there is a reason, it's unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on this matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Of course I can't prove it. Nick, no! Saying you can't prove it now would be admitting defeat. She'll get away. But, but what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one. Ugh. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. Oh! I present to the court the evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. This? This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With De Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial, it began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precip precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. Oh, you're saying he was attempting to kill her, but he wanted to put the blame on the other guy? Maybe? I don't remember. You made him work for you for petty change. 
Hmm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the ex star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. Are we talking about motives here? Look, we are talking about motives here. Yet you only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive. It was what I said before and it was like, yeah. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Uh oh. Oops. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I'm guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. What what happened here? Manuel fell from the stair. Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. Fuck, I can't speak. Fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel. Manuel. I'm really screwing that name's pronunciation up. Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no. How could this happen to me? I made a mistake. Was he her boyfriend or something? It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No. Manuel. Manuel. Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. <laughs> no! Please, please don't die. Please. She loved him. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. Is that it? Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and as collect and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent that he should be found so it's only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty! Yay! I'm going to turn a fan on because it's incredibly hot in here. That is all. Court is adjourned. Ugh. The wire was underneath my laptop. How did it get there? Plug. There we go. <laughs> I hope to God this won't be picked up on the mic, because that would be quite
quite irritating. Uh, district court, uh, defendant lobby number three. Let me check the audio since it is being picked up. Doesn't sound like it is. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Mas Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder? It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me, why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Jealousy? Maybe? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Because he was jealous? It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Hey, I got it right. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once but he was reduced to acting in a kids show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Oh. Is something wrong? No, of course not. Uh, Nick? Edgeworth? Mm. 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 Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away with it if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. He's not a lion. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Oh, I bet you are, Edgeworth. Those damn unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Wow, are you breaking up with me? That's what I came here to tell you. Bye. Um, Mr. Wright, why are you telling me these batteries are low now? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if! We were lovers once. They're rivals. Rivals, right Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. 
It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. <clears throat> they went back to making kids shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show this yeah, the new show starts today. You're gonna watch it with me, right? I'll admit I was kinda surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll f show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the reveal of Will Powers. I don't know how much longer my battery's going to last, so I should probably end this here now that I've finished this case. Episode 4. An achievement unlocked for clearing episode 3. Ah, yes. Episode 4, I know this one. But... I am going to end this here, yes, save progress, because otherwise, ah, uh, there wasn't an achievement I missed, was there? Otherwise, uh, my batteries will die and I won't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, no, there's nothing there, I'm good. And then end the stream. Woo, finished case three, finally.